papers in the chimney. There's a legible fragment left. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword, <laughs> I recognize her love of riddles there. Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured, for what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. What is this disc? Water will give me a little reprieve. Saint Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors, too. Paul facing an ordeal, the curtains of his illusions being raised, and receives the light from his savior. A fierce opponent of the first Christians, St. Paul is suddenly struck by the call of Jesus Christ and converts. It's the best known conversion in Christian history which teaches us that even enemies of Christ can be saved and even become his greatest apostles after finding faith. From what I can recall, the account of his conversion could be found in the epistles to the Galatians, the Philippians, the Corinthians, and the Acts of the Apostles. appears to be locked on the other side. I think I heard something fall to the ground. A metallic sound, like, we'll see if it works. It's open. Testament. And he became very hungry and would have eaten, but while they were made ready, he fell into a trance. Hey, there's a note here, a message from Mother in reply to E. We must leave urgently, but first I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare. Watch out for Volner. 
he figured out I was avoiding him. Allay suspicion. See you tomorrow evening. Stand ready. For now, let's cease all communication until we meet. Take care of yourself. I suppose this must be the last message. What happened afterward? If it's what I suspect, I, I fear the worst. What did Mother mean by, I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare? I must go beyond the nightmare. What does she mean by that? Clearly, she must be trying to do something useful, but, but what? The nightmare. Does that remind me of anything? It probably has to do with an object or something. Granting that this is the case, where might it be found? Yes, it's the painting that was behind Mortimer's study. Well, let's see if Mortimer has anything to hide behind his painting. Mortimer's getting his guests together. I ought to join them so I don't look suspicious. time I went back and joined everyone in the small salon. Monsieur Johann von Wunder. Jacques Perru. Emily, I must speak to you. What's the matter, Louis? I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look, I've started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, her rank in the Order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. It must have been Emma I saw in my vision. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. If 
mother's really killed her sister, I'd better find her by myself. They say they spent a lot of time together. They got along well. Oh, really? Do you think your mother liked Duchess Hillsborough? Of course she did. After all, she's your sister. Well, we'll find them, Emily. Trust me. Should I speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. Emily, there's something else. Go on, then. It's... it's about your sister. I don't know what happened exactly, but it's possible that my mother had a go at her. I know, Louis. I found out that same evening. Well, thanks for not trying to hide it. What? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know if I could trust you. Now I know I can. It seems that your mother tricked Emma. She apparently asked her to hide an important book, so that even she wouldn't know where it was. And then she shot her like a dog to make sure no one would ever find it again. Why would she do that? I don't know, Louis. But I'll find out. You can count on that. I'm sincerely sorry, Emily. Thank you, Louis. But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. Th there must be an explanation, Emily. That's what we shall see. Come, Louis. They're waiting for us. You will pay dearly, Peru. I'm sure you were involved somewhere along the line. That's right. Pretend you don't know. One piece of advice. Don't travel through France on your way back, or it'll cost you dearly. Calm now, my friends. Let's calm down. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. What's going on here exactly? Sir Gregory called us together to introduce the last guest. But hardly had we arrived when he set upon Monsieur Peru. And what has Monsieur Peru done to once again provoke someone's anger? Uh, we don't really know just yet. I get the feeling it won't be long before it gets out. How could you dare do such a thing? Dios mio, you are all out of your minds! Really, Duke Manuel? What made you kick up such a farce? What? Have you not heard? Well, let me inform you that yesterday morning at 10.22 a.m. precisely, in the middle of the Place de la Révolution in Paris, by decree of the National Convention, which Monsieur Peru works for, King Louis was guillotined. What? The King of France is dead, gentlemen. Our monarchies are in danger. I have said it before. How dare they? Oh, dear. Oh, as if gracious. Oh, it. Hmm. Friends, friends, let us calm down. Don't pretend to be surprised. He got a fair trial. Ridiculous. Bastard. He was sentenced to death by 361 votes to 360. You beheaded a king for one vote! Is that your democracy? What an obnoxious act! Until this, anything was possible. This political coup will have grave consequences. France is lost. Gentlemen, please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name of holiness, he was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. Gentlemen, this news affects us all, but I must ask you to remain calm. It's not the first time history has taken us by surprise. Let's ensure that our respective countries are allowed to respond appropriately to this news. Oh, rest assured, the response will not fall short, my friend. Good for you. Well, Your Grace, here I was preparing to introduce you as is proper, and you've beaten me to it. I'm delighted that we are all together at last. Our meeting will therefore be able to kick off shortly. I have just a few more little preparations to take care of before you all find out the reason for your presence here. In the meantime, I shall leave you to get to know one another. When you hear the bell, please proceed to the conclave room on my left, behind that door. I'll see you later.
Uh, could you spare a moment, please, sir? I'm glad you ask. I want to talk to you, too. Of course. I heard about your mother's disappearance. He looks concerned. I don't know why, but I doubt it's from sympathy alone. Well, let's see what he wants from me. Any news of her? Have you found her, maybe? To hear you speak, you seem to know my mother well. Uh, not really. Uh, we met for the first time on this very spot uh, some weeks back. Uh, we had a very pleasant discussion. She's an exceptionally learned lady with a good head for business. Uh, no need for me to tell you that. I agree. Uh, did she tell you about our arrangement? How could I know about that? I'm, we haven't seen each other for several weeks. Indeed. I was simply hoping to pursue the transaction that we had agreed on with you. Too bad. I shan't keep you, Monsieur de Richet. All right then. Thank you. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I must go now. I'll see you later. No space left. I'll retrieve it later. Discourse on the Method by Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. There's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid. Devil's thorn. I'll keep it. Fragment of Amber. Honey, the remedy of the gods.
So, what did my mother mean by going beyond the nightmare? Come in handy. The nightmare painted by Fusili in 1781. Ah, this must be what my mother was talking about. Now just need to find out what she meant by go beyond. Hey, looks like it's mounted on rails on each side. It should lift up, I think. There must be a mechanism somewhere. Honey, the remedy of the gods. Aha, I found it. Oh, what on earth is this? A ring lock now? Great, that's all I needed. Tell me the door code. Tell me the door code. Here I am talking to a bird. Shame on me. A bird. Sarah de Riche? Waldo, you know Sarah? What? Repeat that, Waldo. Sarah. What about Sarah? Good God, what's been happening here? Well, Waldo, is your master good? I don't really know what I was expecting. Tell me the door code. Here I am talking to a bird. Shame on me. says in me Devil's thorn, to be used to uncover the best disguised traits. Weakness of the Human Psyche by Guillaume Trimor. Hmm. He says, it is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition 
until the mind gives in and goes on. There are hundreds of good ways to live life, but you only need one to convince the masses that it's the only one possible. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. Hmm, that must be for writing the homing pigeon messages. Three rusty old nails. They're about 20 centimeters long. Am I seeing things or is that an actual von Leeuwenhoek microscope? Incredible. Mortimer really is at the cutting edge of science. Even at the order, it took us ages to get one of those. This is my mother's writing. I've picked up her trail. What is she up to? Obviously, she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere, but, but where? The only clue she's left for Mortimer is his stone sword. It must be intentional. It looks like a decorative sword, like from a statue, for example. And judging by the state of it, I'm guessing it's been left outside for a long time. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. Oh shit. How am I gonna get out of here now? Let's see what you've been hiding, Lord Murderer. This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. Well, I better not dwell on it then. This note is about a meeting with Lord Mortimer. 
There's no doubt about it. All right, I need to find out where the sword that came with it's from in order to find Mother. You're choking, I hope. Don't tell me you've done that. Really? How do you expect me to guess? Oh, for God's sake, just ask them. We must absolutely inform Sir Gregory. How long has he been trying to collect all the spears? I must have brought him the first one, twenty odd years ago. Do you know if he has managed to get the original? Well, in any case, he's got all the ones we had at the Vatican. He made me replace them with copies. But I don't understand your reaction. I'm sure it is nothing serious. Uh -huh. I can see very well you do not understand. You have done nothing less than sign our death warrants, and still you don't understand. I... Someone is listening. What? Monsieur de Richet, why not join us rather than find yourself eavesdropping? Well, I, 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 I didn't want to interrupt you. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> of course you didn't. So, my son, what can we do for you? I didn't mean to spy on you, but... You caught my attention. Have you brought spears as well, then? What? Did Mortimer ask you to bring him holy spears, too? Yes, but I thought I was the only one. How many of them have you brought, then? Eighteen, you know. Any relic even remotely to do with them, in fact. Eighteen spears? How many of them exist in all? No one knows, especially as there is only one authentic one, of course. That all adds to the mystery, don't you think? Well, uh, please leave us, monsieur. His eminence and I wish to finish our discussion alone. an elixir. Well, Monsieur de Richet, what brings you here? To tell the truth, I was wondering the same thing about you. It's rare for guests to wander about in the garden. I wanted to be alone for five minutes. You look worried. Worried? No. Resolved would be a more exact term. Resolved to do what? What's the point in answering? You wouldn't believe me anyway. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Be seeing you. Tell me. Aren't you even curious? Curiosity killed a cat, Monsieur de Richet. I admit, I may have judged you wrongly. Watching you seek out Mortimer's little secrets might even be amusing, if I didn't already know the consequences. See you later. What do you mean by consequences? You seem exhilarated by all this. But if you continue down that path, you'll end up selling your soul to him too. Well, I warned you. Good luck to you, monsieur. Carmelite water will give me a little reprieve.
Minos, son of Zeus and Europa. If I remember correctly, he was the king of Crete. Married to Pasiphae, he had many children, including the famous Ariadne, whom history remembers for her thread. Hey, there's a crack in that statue. On closer inspection, I think the sword I found at Mortimer's came from here. The stone, the erosion. I'll bet my life I'm on the right track. The crack is in the region of the heart. I wonder what this kiosk is doing in the middle of the garden. Too cramped to be able to do much. Well, there must be something going on there. What is that? Looks like a sort of opening mechanism. Again? <laughs> I... You can't be serious, Manuel. You know that's not going to happen. You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything. Even to... Agreed? I wasn't aware you had a choice. What's going on here? I... What now? What else must I do to win back my freedom? Obey me. Now get out! <gasps> what was that? That's the third time in three days. See if you're you're in there, mother. A fragment of amber. Bandages. Hmm. Someone's been patching themselves up. Looks like my mother took advantage of being in hiding to change her bandages, huh? This is silk. She must have used her own clothes. A cash. Damn it, mother. Now what's happened? Don't move. Wait, I'm not armed. Who are you? Good God, Mother, what have you- Tell me who you are! 